Hey, what's up guys? So today we're going to take a look at the best strikers in FC Mobile in almost every price category. Uh, we will check their maxed stats and all that jazz, but first let's talk about the things that you must look for in a striker. I get questions all the time on stream, who is the best for this position and that position? I do my best to answer them, but it's not easy to uh, answer them in simple terms. You need to consider a lot of things before uh, buying the best striker for your team. First one is obviously uh, the budget and and uh, in my opinion, you should always buy the highest rank possible uh, with the coins uh, because that will allow you to train them to the uh, highest level and also use the uh, skill points, which is very important for good gameplay. Uh, for example, if your budget is 100 million coins, you can either go with uh, base rank ultimate team of the year Holland, or you can buy rank 4 1 Percy or Ginola. They're all good options, but the best ones would either be Ginola or RVP because you can train those two to much higher level and use four skill points, which will take their gameplay to whole new level. Now about the must have things in a striker, uh, most strikers in game already have good stats overall and good finishing on them. Uh, but if they can finish with their weaker foot, that's an advantage. Uh, you must always look for a striker who has at least four star weak foot or higher. Uh, 5 star is the absolute best which is why strikers like R9, Ginola and Isak right here are the uh, best in game. Uh, in addition to good weak foot they also need to have a decent height because this season the meta is lengthy players they should be 6 foot or above. Uh, they just play better in game especially if it's a striker and I'm not referring to crosses here uh, some skill moves like heal to heal and open a fake shot are just explosive with tall players. Uh, you can still cook with small strikers, but in my opinion, small strikers are best uh, if you are running a two striker formation. Because uh, in those formations, strikers get more freedom and they don't have to uh, go shoulder to shoulder against uh, center backs that often. And speaking of explosive skill moves, you must always buy a striker with at least four star skill moves. Uh, most of you guys already know this, uh, but I will still mention it. Uh, having 4 star skill moves uh, will unlock the jam which is lane change uh, which is the best and most common skill move in game right now. It's very good if you can time it right. Uh, you can also unlock more skill moves with 4 star skill rating uh, but lane change is the best. Now uh, like I said earlier most strikers have decent stats uh, overall uh, so we will not mention pace, dribbling, shooting and physical because every striker has them but you can still compare these stats on FC renders and make your decision based on that. One more thing that you need to consider are traits. Now if you are someone who dribbles a lot having traits like flare and uh, speed dribbler will definitely help you and if you are someone who likes to cross every now and then having a power header trait is really helpful. It's not important you can still score headers even without power header trait. So who are the best strikers in FC mobile right now? I will offer you two options for four price categories. Number one is dirt cheap. Number two is not that dirt cheap. Number three is less than 100 million coins. And number four is I am a whale category. And we will start with the dirt cheap options. So the number one option in our dirt cheap category is this Alexander Isa card. Now some might argue that this card is probably outdated at this point. I absolutely disagree with that. Uh, I don't need to say much about this card, he's still one of the uh, best strikers in game, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, uh, great stats overall and on top of all that he's very lengthy, 6 foot 4, his heal to heal and open up fake shots are too explosive and too good. Another option in this dirt cheap category that we have is completely opposite of Isak is this Conmebol Pele, again the stats wise one of the best strikers out there and gameplay wise as well. He is your guy if you are rocking a two striker formation. After that we have not that cheap category and in this category first one that we have is Rivals Torres. Great card overall for the budget if you can train him to level 25 and even 30 he will definitely cook. I have used this card for quite some time and uh, I sold him before team of the year to save some coins but he was doing excellent for me. Another option in this category is Starpa Son. Now I haven't used him uh, myself but I have faced him a lot and uh, every time I do he cooks me. Uh, one thing I can confirm is he's very pacey and obviously you add all that jam uh, with 5 star weak foot, he becomes a demon. Now we move on to our next category, less than 100 million coins. I say 100 million coins because we are talking about the rank 4 here and not their base ones. Uh, this is a very popular category. By the way, the amount of times I've said this word category, I feel like I'm nominating Oscars. Anyway, 
first option that we have here is a uh, Rob Van Persie, uh, which I was lucky to pack and try. I liked his base card uh, even without training. And if you do a uh, look at the stats and attributes of this card, he looks very really good. And I have also heard good things about him everywhere. So he is one of your options under 100 mil. Uh, another one that we have here is the Su Care. Uh, very similar to RVP except he's a bit stronger um, and a bit shorter and a bit slow than Van Persie but he also has better finishing, dribbling and physical than uh, Rob Van Persie. Uh, both sell at the same price so there's no issue with uh, the uh, prices there. And the last one in this less than 100 million group is this Ginola. Might sound a bit outdated but that's not the case. Uh, when it comes to his gameplay he's still the great. And uh, one of the advantages that he has over other two strikers in this group is 5 star weak foot. And uh, if I had to rank these three I will probably say Ginola first, Rob Van Persie second and Suker third. And lastly, we have the cream of the crop. I am a whale category and there are only two winners. Number one being six foot five, Demon Guard, four star, four star with power header, Erling Haaland. Again, not much to say about him. Uh, his stats speak for himself. And uh, I would say if you have the coins, send it and don't look back. I mean, this card is the definition of meta. He has everything that you need. Uh, in a striker for head to head in FC Mobile, that's all I'm going to say. And the second option in this category we have is R9. Again, you don't need to say anything about his stats and attributes on this card. You can argue that his work rates are not the best, uh, which I can agree with, but he's R9. You wouldn't even notice that in game. I haven't tried this card and I don't think I ever will because my personal preference will always be Erling Haaland. Because uh, of various reasons, like his heel to heel will be more explosive than any striker in game. His open up fake shot will be better because of that big body. And of course, for that 6 foot 5 power header jam. I also want to give some honorable mentions to some options in every price category. Number one, we have this 97 OBR Eusebio. He looks great, except his height is not the best. Uh, the best way to use this card is try him in a two striker formation like 4-1-2-1-2 wide or 4-4-2 holding and uh, play him as a playmaker. And then we have soon to be a Madrid player this welcome event Mbappe. He is a bit outdated I'm not going to lie I would prefer Ginola or Rob and Percy over him but he's still usable. After that we have this Cantona card 4 star 4 star uh, decent stats overall. Uh, not that PC but very strong in the air. And I know some people who would prefer him over rivals Torres, which I understand why. And lastly, we have this recent addition, Oka 4. I cannot say much about this card because I don't see many people using him. I haven't faced him like ever. But stats wise, he looks very good, especially that pace. Those are the best strikers in FC Mobile as of now. But if you don't like any one of these options, what you can do instead is follow the must have things. Uh, in a striker that I mentioned earlier in this video and buy whoever you feel is good for you. Uh, that'll be it for this video. Smash like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.